Uh, Cindy and I were talking in the back about girls and how women navigate friendship and the called mean girl um, thing that we hear so much about. And I wanted to ask you, did you ever have uh, a mean girl experience in high school? And if you did, how'd you navigate that? Wouldn't it be nice if I said no? <laughs> and sadly, that's not true, of course. Um, and I think sharing those bad experiences, like I think it helps other women and young women realize like they're not the only ones. And uh, when I was, I think 16 years old, and I had never even thought about being a model yet. I didn't even know that that was like a job that I could somehow do. I wouldn't have known how to get from A to B. Um, I got a call. I lived in a small town in Illinois, and I got a call from the, the lo this local clothing store, and they said that they would like me to come in because uh, they would wanted me to model for their store. And I remember putting my hair in hot curlers and my Calvin Klein jeans or whatever. It was the jean of the moment. And going down to this little store, and I walked in and I said, oh, hi, I'm Cindy. I'm here for the modeling job. And, and the, they were like, we don't know what you're talking about. And I said, no, you guys called me, and I'm here for the modeling job. And they said, we're sorry. It wasn't us. And I walked out of the store, and I saw these two girls from my high school standing on the corner <gasps> laughing because they knew that, they, what, that I had just you know, been embarrassed. And it was just like my heart sank. But cut to my 10-year high school reunion. <laughs> And I'd been on the cover of Vogue, and I had my MTV crew there with me. And I guess I was like, I was like, well, I guess it worked out after all, girls. Karma, uh, karma. Exactly. So, anyway, just remember, sometimes it works out that way. That's right. And don't let something like that defeat you. Yeah. I think that's a really important experience because you could have said, you could have gone off and cried and said, I'm never going to try that right. again because so many people get rejected and dejected and then they can't go on. What has kept you kind of in the game and pushing yourself forward and not getting discouraged? Gosh, I think a lot of that is just the way that I was raised and, um, you know, I do talk about, and I talk about it in my book a lot, is that I don't, modeling is what I do. It's not who I am. So it's my job. And I worked hard at school, and I worked hard when I worked in a clothing store folding shirts. I worked hard babysitting. So to me, I work hard as a model. And part of working hard is also paying attention. Because then you're, you're, you're absorbing, you're learning. Um, and, you know, I was surrounded by the most incredible photographers and makeup artists and advertising people. And if you hang out with really talented people, you, it does rub off on you. And you can, you can actually learn so much. So I feel like I got, I was able to, even though I dropped out of college because my modeling career took off, I was able in a way to get an education through my work by paying attention.